had to see it to believe it. That's what many West Virginia lawmakers are saying about what led them to vote for Supreme Court impeachments. Well, for years, the justices spent taxpayer money lavishly, while most West Virginia families were having to tighten their belts. 13 News chief political reporter Mark Curtis has more from the Capitol. It now appears that the legislative tour of the West Virginia Supreme Court was the straw that broke the camel's back for many who voted yes on the articles of impeachment for all four justices. The lavish expenses for renovations and furnishings topped three million dollars. And with items such as the $32,000 blue suede couch, lawmakers say West Virginia taxpayers could have got a better deal. Well, this is the uh, big lot sofa sale for $299.99. Let's round that off to $300. You can get a three sofa or a three piece sofa here. Knowing price tag and what went into that, um, it's, it's a little bit disturbing. To go through. Uh, and despite the wide agreement on most of the impeachment articles, there is tension in the room over missing the ballot deadline date of August 14th. Voters will not be able to elect new justices. Instead, Governor Justice gets to appoint them. You know, we fought for this months ago during regular session and has been reported by the media for several months, but yet we weighed around, I believe, on purpose so that Jim Justice could stack the court with new Supreme Court justices. I think it is ridiculous that the Democrats are arguing that we are trying to give J Governor Justice the ability to, to uh, appoint a whole new court. Justice Menace Ketchum on the upper left in this photo has retired. The other four justices, Robin Davis, Alan Lawfrey, Beth Walker, and Chief Margaret Workman are up for impeachment. On Monday, the entire 100-member House of Delegates convenes here to consider the articles of impeachment. Right now, there's no time frame for how long that might last. At the Capitol in Charleston, I'm Mark Curtis, 13 News, working for you. So if any justices are impeached and removed from office, they will lose their state pensions and they can never run for public office again.